biggest excuse I had as to why I shouldn't go to the Mennonite Christ Conference. I had a litany of uh, reasons for not going to a conference. I just made the excuse that there wasn't enough time in the day. I was going to college. We're running a farm. Time is always one. It was definitely time. Family and personal demands on the weekends. I was extremely busy uh, working you know, 60, 70 hours a week. I felt like I don't need the conference. I thought that I could do everything myself. The biggest thing I hear from a lot of men in their 40s and 50s is, oh man, I wish I could have been doing this 20 years ago. How do you make time for God? How, how do you make time for a conference? Yeah, you just make time. You know, it's just a priority issue. Oftentimes, God's calling us to the unknown, and it might be uh, scary. Prior to the Men of Christ Conference, I was the bare minimum Catholic. What Men of Christ has done for me in my life, I would say, in a word, is transformative. It's helped me to kind of take the reins of my faith. The Men of Christ has done so much in my life, uh, especially with my wife and kids, uh, where it really matters most. We have this responsibility as husbands and spouses to initiate that path of holiness with our wife, but perhaps we don't know how to do it. And in Men of Christ, giving us practical things to take from the conference to the home in leading our wives. It's really a spark. It's an energizer for me. The theme of this year's conference is be strong and courageous. To be strong and courageous in today's world, I mean at any time, but in today's world it takes a lot of guts. Means to me to unabashedly live your Catholic faith. Don't put it under a bushel basket, don't hide it. I invite you to join me at the Men of Christ Conference this year. This is the most important thing we can do with our lives, and not only our lives, but our families' lives and our children's lives. You have only to gain from attending this conference. One of the things that the Men of Christ does is if you get the man, you get the family. If you get the family, you get society. It's the only way to change it. It's the only way to transform it.